there used to be a record in sports. It was the four-minute mile, meaning that no one had ever shattered the four-minute mile in history. People thought it was so unbelievable that they said that it couldn't be done. Scientists, researchers, athletes across the world said that this was a record that was impossible to be broken. The human body could not ever accomplish that feat. Not until 1954, a young man named Roger Bannister came in in front of the eyes of the world. His goal, to beat the record that's, that they said could never be beat. He came around that first lap, and if, if you don't run track, four times around the track is a mile. He came around that first time around the track, and the people were watching him, and they said, he's off to a really good start, but he'll never last. There's no way. The human body can't do that. He came around the second lap, and he was still keeping the same pace. And they said, how is he doing that? Well, he came around the third, and he came around the fourth lap, and people said, no, no question, he'll die at the end. There's no way he'll be able to keep it up because it's impossible. He crossed that line, and he broke the four-minute mile, what was thought to be impossible. Something interesting happened. After he broke that record that day, what do you think happened? It got broken over and over and over again. And now the record, I believe, is 326. Success follows a formula. It does. And the second you tap into that formula, you will unlock a potential and a product and a result greater than you can ever imagine. You know the difference? It doesn't come for free, and there's a price to be paid. But you know what? There is no doubt about it that when you apply that formula, the results are certain. I remember when I was a stockbroker, I came off to a great start. I was number one in the United States in my class, rookie stockbroker, with, with my firm. And I came off to this start, and I had agents that came up to me, and they said, how are you doing this? They wanted to, they wanted to know it was a, some kind of rabbit's foot or something. And I said, you know what? There's no magic formula. It, the formula is hard work. One agent came up to you in particular. His name was Jim, and, and Jim said, listen, can you teach me to have those results in stockbroking? Can you teach me? And I'll do every single thing you say. I said, I'll tell you what, get a paper and a pen. He came over and I said, Jim, I want you to write this down. Number one, I want you to come in every single morning and be the first one in the door. And I want you to sit in that desk and I want you to cold call, I don't care if it's out of a phone book, cold call eight hours a day. And take a half hour, an hour for lunch, whatever you need, but then be the last one out of here at six o'clock. And he said, are you trying to tell me if I do that, that I'll be successful? And I said, not only am I trying to tell you that, I guarantee you, if you could do that for six months, I can guarantee you, you will never have to cold call the rest of your life, and you will be one of the top stockbrokers in the entire United States. I turn off the radio, and I look back at the kids, and my kids are like, no, Dad. No, don't do it. And I start busting out this song, and I'm just going for it because you know, I'm with my kids. They'll forgive me. And I'm singing, and I'm going to town, and all of a sudden, I look to my right, and where my elbow was sitting on the elbow rest, I had accidentally hit a button, and it, was, it had called somebody. <laughs> so I am just dying and I, when I looked over, it had been going for almost two minutes. <laughs> so I did what any one of you would do. I immediately hit that end call button as fast as I could. And I picked up my phone, and I thought, who did I just call? <laughs> and I had joked around with my kids saying, hey, that was pretty good. That was like American Idol stuff, right? So I had a lot of commentary, too. <laughs> well, I picked up the phone, and I had called one of my contacts named Casey. Now, Casey had been in the hospital emergency room the night before. And so when I called him, I called him on the phone and I said, um, 
Hey, Casey, uh, this is Kenny. I said, uh, hey, did I just by chance just call you? And he said, yep. <laughs> and I said, um, Casey, did you by chance uh, hear me singing? He said, yep. <laughs> and I said, Casey, when you heard me singing and you knew that that was not the call I intended, did you ever think about hanging up? He said, Nope. <laughs> Knowledge without application is useless. Knowledge with application is magic. There's an acronym that I created. It's called WBDA. And I want you to write this down because this acronym, if you will internalize it, memorize it, live it, I can tell you right now, you will accomplish and be a top producer in this company. And it's called Want It, Believe It, Do It, Achieve It. Will you say it with me? Want it, believe it, do it, achieve it. I'm going to fly through this pretty fast because I have a couple things else I want to say. But let me say the want it part is identifying what you really want. Sometimes we are so vague and so general as to what we want in this life. We might say to ourselves, I want to be in good health. And that's okay. It's good to have that desire. But sometimes our desires are like an onion. We have to peel them back one layer at a time until we get to the very core of what it is we really want. Each one of us has a breakout within us. But yet sometimes we start settling for the things that life dishes us. We give in to what people say and we start believing what they're saying instead of breaking out into ground that we can achieve. When we're small, when we're kids, we have all of these dreams, right? And we believe that we can succeed. We know we can. We get older, and all of a sudden, life kicks us down a little bit. Life knocks us down. We have some stumbling blocks. We have some failures. And sometimes, getting back up is, is kind of tough, right? Dreams are possible. Those things that you're striving here as distributors and in your life, don't settle for anything less than exactly what it is that you want. And be willing to pay the price to achieve that. Success is about contribution. I've achieved some success in my life as it's seen by the world, and I've made some decent money along the way. But I'll tell you right now, there is no success in my life that compares to the success that I try to achieve as a husband, a father, and a friend. In closing, don't settle for anything less than what you want. Go after these dreams with singular the opportunities that are in front of you, and whether it's in your personal life or your professional life, I'll end by just saying this. Don't forget to dream again. Thank you for having me.